Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is the Gundam Battle Operation 2 update for the week of December 16th, 2021. And this week we have got the Moon Gundam. It is a four star. It, is, it has a seven step step up if you want it. Uh, if you go all the way up that, you get a, a bonus long rifle for it, which I assume will make it behave differently. Um, and the first step is half off, which is nice. Uh, let's see, we've still got another free weekly 10 spin with uh, the potential for four-star drops. Uh, there's been an update, though I, as I understand it, the uh, uh, monthly adjustment, mobile suit adjustments are waiting till the 30th. Um, let's see, what else have we got going on? Uh, the Code Fairy link is still here. Um, it's not showing up here, but we've got new simulator missions as well. And, okay, well, we've got a uh, cardboard stand-up for Code Fairy now. That's new. But, uh, yeah, we've got uh, some new simulator missions. We might take a look at uh, the Moon Gundam one after this, just to see how it is. But first, we're going to take a look and see what's in the store. Uh, new to the DP store, we have the Level 4 Pixie, uh, the Level 4 High Mobility uh, Zaku Late Model, which is the R2, and the Level 2 Dredge Custom. Also, weapons for same. Including the double machine gun for the Pixie. Those could be hard to get a hold of sometimes. So yeah, decent mobile suits. No new custom parts there. Let's take a look at here. Uh, let's see, the XS Gundam is now finally in uh, recycle tickets. So if you've been trying to get a hold of that and have 385 tickets, you're good. Uh, it's 435 tickets for the level 3 Gunner Gundam. Uh, 7th Gundam is up as well. That's not new, of course, but it, you know, it circles back through. I'm at Platinum, so I may see stuff that may not show up for uh, people who have not gotten the Platinum uh, medal yet. But uh, I'm assuming most of the stuff at the top probably will. And it's decent stuff. So yeah, excess finally available. It's pretty good. I, I enjoy using it. And let's see, um, any new custom parts? It would appear not. Looks like the n uh, normal stuff. Uh, no new markings or anything, so okay, let's do the special 10 spin first and see what we get out of that. And then we'll do the half price 10 spin and probably, like I said, go look at the, uh, at least the Moon Gundam sample simulator, since that will, uh, give us a, uh, a look at the thing. So, uh, let's see, first is, I, uh, Dra uh, Drossy Vulcans. Zaku Mine Layer. Uh, Gigan Claw Arm. Uh, MMP-78 uh, Anti-Air. Level 4 Gym Command. Uh, Methus Guns. Uh, Palm Beam Cannons for... Byerlink Custom? We'll find out, but I think so. Uh, Beam Saber Enhanced Prototype. Twin Lancer. And... Uh, a uh, repeat of the Thunderbolt Gundam, which I have had low these many years. Okay, I'm not surprised. Yep, Fire Emblem Custom I do. Oh no, that's for the, uh, that's for the Jammer Fin. Okay, that works. I like that thing. So, I think I have the level 2 uh, version of it. So, if so, you know, those are perfectly welcome. But, uh, alright, moving on to the half price supply drop. We'll try the, uh, uh first, uh, level of it and see what we can do. And, okay, and, Heat Lance, Box-type Beam Saber, Gazom Beam Saber, uh, the gun that the Rick Diaz 2 uses, uh, Nefreet Schneid's Heat Darts, would love a Nefreet Schneid to go with that. That is not Nefreet Schneid, that's a repeat Heavy Gundam. Uh, Kubli Beam Sabers, level 2, Beam Sword, level 2. Missile Launcher level 2. Red Rider Beam Saber level 2. So that was a big pile of nothing. Alright, let's go check out the simulators. And... Let's see, and the simulators in case you haven't used them before, or this guy over here. And let's see, yeah, Moonlight Warrior. We will, we will give this a try. Um... Let's see, completion reward, three tokens for finishing it in three minutes or less. Don't know if I'll get that on the first try. 
I'm uh, not going to worry about rankings. Uh, let's see. I can use either the Gazes or the uh, or the Moon Gundam. I'm going to use the Moon Gundam, obviously. Uh, and it's nine mobile suits in all. Okay, we'll go. Single player. I Okay, ranked is unrestricted, but I don't really see a point to the being ranked, so... Uh, no, I don't want the Gazelle. Are you, are you crazy? Um... I don't mind the Gazelle, and oh, if you have higher levels of the things, they'll let, they'll let you take those in, so if you're having trouble with the simulator, that is a possibility. You cannot add parts to, uh, uh, to, uh, mobile suits, uh, that you don't own, nor can you, uh, do, uh, adjust its quick swaps, which I feel like that's a mistake, honestly, because it's going to make it harder to, uh, to use and maybe less appealing. But, yeah, the, uh, uh, the Moon Gundam is a modified Vargil, so it uses the same beam rifle as the Vargil. I did get that. I'm just trying to still, still trying to get a good round with it. Uh, also has the Moon Gundam Beam Tomahawk, which is not that different, I think, from the Vargil Saber. Uh, Vulcan's the Butterfly Edge, which, if it works the same way as on the Vargil, that's a fun weapon. Um, let's see, uh, the Psycho Plates, which can be launched or used as a shield. Um, negate melee and ranged attacks. Interesting. New Gundams does not negate melee, so that's an edge that that has. And the Beam Rifle's Grenade Launcher. Skill set is level 3 Shock Absorber, uh, Double Dodge Roll, Anti-Blast, Flight Control, High Performance Balancer, AMBAC, Maneuver Armor 1, Forced Injector 2, Combo Controller 1, Rad uh, radar level 3, personnel radar, Psychomu weapon buffer, so, okay, yeah, the uh, Psychomu uh, weapons, if they take a hit when they're not in use, uh, have 40% damage reduction, that's level 5. Uh, it's, let's see, special leg buffer, and the 4-star uh, counter program, it gets a special counter animation with uh, stronger animation when it's below 30 hit points and the psycho plate plates are not active so let's see if we can make any use of this rental gundam at all uh i thought i told you i was using the moon gundam well i have to register it for space too because i should have done space in the first place but you know I wish I could set up my AI partners with my higher level gases, but oh well. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we're fighting, see if I can actually fight it. And here we go. Okay, and there's my plates. And there's three mobile suits to shoot at. Which... And got a shot. Not sure what that is, except dead. Um, Butterfly Edge. I bet those control really well in space. Let's find out. Yes, 4,900 damage. I like it. But yeah, they're like the, they're like the, uh, uh, Dreyson Triblades, except actually even better. So, they are more responsive and, and easier to hit with, I think. So yeah, they're interesting. Oh, let's throw some plates out at people. That's interesting. They, the, oh, wow. And it's and the psycho plates, they are not, you know, they are a one shot and reload, so they're not based like Cubelay's uh, funnels are, or like most funnels and psycho moves are. That's not surprising to me. And so far so good. We're uh, like halfway through wave one, with uh, one two minutes remaining to get to, uh, under the three minute mark. So not bad. Now that person just needs to die. Boom. Hit their shield. The Vulcan's pretty strong. Uh, have some plates. And I've got a grenade launcher as needed. I'll call it. Peace. There we go. Okay, we've only got a minute and a half to get the best score, but if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. Let's see what we're fighting. I will do this again off camera as, as needed. And have some plates. Delicious psycho plates. I don't know why they'd be delicious, I'm just assuming. Butterfly edge for you. Also, it seems like the Moon Gundam pauses a little bit less than the Vargil does to uh, launch those. That's a good thing, I think. So, 
Let's see now, I don't want to launch into that. Let's see, no targets down yet. Um, launching, that should be good. Yep. And they miss. They're not terribly accurate, it seems like. You kind of have to keep your eye on the ball, I, I think. Let's see, almost got that. Um, grenade ready should be enough to take out this game off. Especially if I wait. Let's see, the Vulcans were not enough. This is enough. There we go. Okay, we're probably not going to make this because I've got to kill two more things in 30 seconds. I don't like my chances. Though one of them that I just attacked is a Jarja, which should drop fairly quickly against the general. Except it countered me. Yeah, I'm not going to get under three minutes on this first try. That's fine. Seems like the Psycho Plates do, re uh, do reload very quickly, though, so that's nice. And they seem to be an area of effect thing. No, I can't kill you in that little time, I don't think. No. Very close. Annoyingly close, actually, but I'll have to do it again. So yeah, that is the Moon Gundam, and that's where we'll leave this update video for now. This looks like a lot of fun. If I can uh, if I can get it, that'd be great. Well done, everyone. But yeah, you that is the Moon Gundam. Victory. Good luck to everyone who wants it. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!